Hello and welcome people of the YouTube. Not loading, which is a- oh no, there we are. Loading screen! And the game is... Chroma Squad, the tactical RPG inspired by Saban's Power Rangers. This is basically Power Rangers the RPG, if done oddly. I think this came up while I was on holiday and played through the start of it and loved it. Loved it. In the same way I love Superhero here, yeah, Superhero League of Hoboken. I love it in that sort of way. It is a mockery of the genre and yeah, it is amazing. You basically are a team of five stuntmen who want to create their own Power Rangers spin-off. And that's it. That is the entire plot of the game. At least, as far as I've got into it so far, there's illusions that it may be something go secret going on in the background. There's the evil director of the show we left to do this thing. But, you know, we'll get into that as we get into this. In the meantime, plot and things. We're going to play interesting because challenging is really difficult. That's what I started playing it on. It's, near it's really, really difficult. So we're going to go down one level, interesting, so hopefully I can show off the game a little more effectively. So we're going to go interesting. Power Rangers, or Chroma Squad Rangers as they actually are. We'll come up with a name for them later. Once upon a time at a TV studio just like any other. Look at that pixelated genius! So, Power Rangers, it is time for our stuntmen to get into the scene. Hurry! Oh, hurry up. Nope, we're clicking. We could speed through this bit, but I'm actually going to go through the tutorial just to show you what the um, game generally looks like. And where are the minions? Also, I'm really... St I've got a really tanky frame rate at the moment. I might have to go and actually... We'll see how this goes. Okay, I might not be able to record this in 1080p, so bear with me two moments, I'm going to get to this point, and we will resume. Okay, we're back, so, I guess we're liking some story, huh? Yeah, but, Mi but Director Mia doesn't enjoy it that much. No, he doesn't really enjoy the story at all. It's really boring, I'm tired of... Stop talking while we're recording! Battle them, should I remind you? that you may click to either walk or choose to answer you wish to attack. So, direct instructions, defeat free enemies. So, we can do this in a number of ways. I'm actually just going to show off the battle as it's normally explained to you. So, for the moment, we have a Yellow Ranger who can go off and beat you up, because, you know, these guys are ridiculously easy at this point. These are simple minions, and we are beating them in... Oh, I can't get to you. Ah! Right, we'll just move the Red Ranger over a bit. They have two movements, but basically... Yeah, if they attack the end, it's it, a load of systems kind of use this. They have two actions. They can use them both for movement if they so wish. So let's go and see what happens when we do this. So, enemy's turn. And they will attempt to beat us up. And because they have an effect on them, it produces a pushback of one space, which is a little awkward, but we'll manage for that. So against the green screen background, we'll have a yellow ranger go and beat you up again. Now, the bar that's up at the top, that's actually the audience bar. This shows how successful, how many audience members we're going to have watching the show, or basically how interesting it is to the audience. Then we get points for killing enemies, we get points for coming up with using abilities, I'll show that briefly, though so we'll explain it. It's teamwork! And we use teamwork to make double attacks, like so! And we get a plus 20 bonus because we use the teamwork ability. For the moment, though, we'll just beat you up. And thus! We defeated the direct instructions, defeating three enemies. Each episode, effectively, will have various instructions we're going to have to try and do in order to gain a bonus to our audience. We might not need to do it every single time. Uh, certainly, if we are successful enough, we won't need to necessarily go for all the director's actions. But generally speaking, if you want the top score, you go for them as much as possible. As an acrobatics, we can add explosions to them later. Explosive acrobatics, acro 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 it's awesome. Let me finish talking! You should use the teamwork maneuver to toss people around so they can move further. Teamworking, um, teamwork toss is definitely one of the more useful abilities in this. I would say though that yellow, the yellow ranger has the ability to toss people further than all the others, which is always 
I want to keep remembering that because I'll my only time to screw myself over by forgetting which one of them toss people further. Yeah, the, the yellow one is the one who has to hang at the back and toss everybody else into the battle. Which is a problem because the yellow ranger also has the ability to be better with weapons than anybody else. In many ways she has two of the most useful abilities and they're not really um, synced up at all well. Alright, at least in terms of actually using both of them. So, you know what we'll do a team attack, we again move somebody over there, press the teamwork button. We have you go over there, and that's a double attack. We can also use another teamwork. Oh, team acrobatics, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, team acrobatics. Now, you can use this to toss over here! For no reason! I could, toss, I could have tossed you back, actually, that would have probably dealt, done us, but... Alright, tossed over. And for a second action, we'll just move you there. Direct instructions completed, we gained 400 extraordinary members. I'll wait for everybody to just move around. And punch red, because red deserves to be punched. Okay, off you go, punch. Get 20 additional audience for moving. Okay. We'll add some more acrobatics in there just because I want to go and finish this off this at this point. Boom. And boom. Okay, so we've pulled team acrobatics, completed that bit of a tutorial. God, not a perfect scene. I'm uh, glad I'm here to tell you what to do all the time. Oh boy. Now we should show the audience some more teamwork. You know how it works. Stacking minion with someone else is using teamwork next to it. I trust you guys won't hurt me. You guys have performed a team attack with two squad members. So yellow moves over here, as already kind of shown, and attack. Double attack. No fair. I like when they complain like that. It amuses me. Right. And blue can now finish you off. Okay, looking good so far. Great job! Keep it up like that. I'm loving this. Move now so the boss can teleport into the set. Where's that big girl in the monster suit? This is how you're going to do this. Remember your trading. Put four of you adjacent to the monster in teamwork, and then attack the monster. Everyone around you will help out. This is what we call a finishing move. I was saying all these things again. We've done this so many times already. Yeah, it's like telling people what to do, I guess. And also, tutorial. <laughs> monster will blow up when you use the finishing move. And you all five of you to do it together. Can we fight the monster before the finishing move? It feels rushed. Our audience won't enjoy it. I never want to hear you say <laughs> I want it that way. <laughs> or whatever was actually said. So, finish it. When that comes up, it means it's within range of a finishing attack. Although it does lie. I've noticed it lie once. And it was kind of important as well. We can still use teamwork to toss people around, but still be prepared. You move into there, and now, finishing move! Oh, no, hold on. Hold on. Back you. You need teamwork as well. Attack! Chroma power! The ultimate attack! And we use the chroma attack to destroy the evil thing! Thus we are done. I don't know whether the, mech, whether the mechs are in this. I imagine it is if it's Power Rangers at some stage, but I haven't got to that point in um, my other Let's Play, well, my other playthrough of this on the challenging level. But still. No! Explosion! This is ridiculous, not even a giant robot fight. Hey! The mechs just sit in the chairs and the stumble do most of the recording. And besides, this is so silly, we always record in the studio. We could go outside, these different places. Come on, people, our show isn't that bad, I'm listening. Why can't we run our very own studio? Oh my, that's just the perfect idea. Count me in. What? Are you leaving, Super Rangers? I mean, too, let's do this. Have fun leaving studios and fun to work out, Dr. Uh, Mia. I'm sure it's an in-joke, but I don't get it, unfortunately. I'm not... <laughs> Uh, it probably is an in-joke to who the director of Power Ranger was. I don't know that for sure. I imagine it probably is. Bye-bye, Dr. Mia. Um, please stop being mean, so mean to your employees. You can't! You... 
And there's four of us at least have left who, um... At least leave the suits at the door! And we hope it's not crashed. And we do a lot of hoping that hasn't crashed. Nope, it's... <laughs> oh, that scared me like that. Okay. So, more plot! As <laughs> we have clearly stolen the suits. The stunned men met a moment later, still dressed in their old studio spandex suits. They talked about how they could start their own studio and record their first episode. After a few minutes, an idea popped up. Michael's a warehouse not far from here. We could use it. Alright, that could be a start. Maybe just what we need. We always pose. We always pose to talk to anything. I'm sure that's a Power Ranger thing as well. <laughs> and also a toy store. With giant robot, we should steal that. I mean, at the warehouse, everyone got very excited because of its size. And how they can take advantage of that available space. So looking around and thinking about camera positions. When someone spotted something. A huge pillar at the very center of the warehouse, even though it's lined off center, and covered in a huge and some sort of dusty bedsheet. No one knew what was under it. Where are the stun actors? Oh, they are. You return. They need to return my studio Hispanic suits! Wait, what is that? I'll just keep watching. Evil director! <laughs> then, curiosity knocked at someone's door and the sheet was removed! Amazing! An incredible replica of a device used in an American Hero TV series! Someone plugged in the energy cable and the machine said his welcome message out loud! Hello, my name is Cerebo. This is an example message. Type the words to my back display, and I shall text to speech them. It's a living shadow hawk! That's what it is, it's a living shadow hawk! Everyone's eyes shine. Wow! Let him out that close. I actually want to know. <laughs> I know what I actually want from them now. I think it's some devious plan. I'm out. The evil director, folks. I'm looking for a place to set up a studio and record, but. Oh, we also have this Cerebro thing to support our story. It's amazing! Yes, this is just it. That's your uncle for it, too. Future fans will love it. Will do. I think we'll be happy to lend us everything, including the warehouse. We hope so, at the very least. Grab your props at home and let's meet up tomorrow. We're gonna record episode one. Right, so. What do we now have to do? So, the group of friends decided to take a different path in their lives. Later that day, the clothes returned to their old boss, and after a few weeks with a contract ready to be signed, they finally have everything ready to start recording! Including a giant break in the jar. So, Season 1. We have a contract which says we earn 1,000 if we can record four episodes. For a season finale after four episodes, and if our fans get lower than zero, we lose. If don't think this is possible, it might be though. I'm not sure. Anyway, so we have to record four, four or five episodes of the season for season one. I'll tell you what, the game likes likes feeling like it's crashed. <laughs> I'll be honest, it is rather worrying in that regard. So we shall name the studio. FC Studios. Because, of course, the friend computer is our friend. And now we get to create our team. Ah, yes, the team. And it will be led, of course, by the Orange Ranger, who shall be Shadow. HWK. Because, you know, I've got to lead things. Um, there are various people we can pick to be our leader for... They also get a benefit according to what the class is. The lead always gets an extra 50% health. So... Shop discount. This is a Kickstarter backer, apparently. Um, we could also be the Azimobot. 
which would work for an FC, I suppose, but not necessarily is going to work for us at the moment. Bound by only two of Asimov's laws. Uh, no, we don't want that. Wesley, Sni Wesley Stripes. We could be Wesley Stripes. Gives us additional pistol damage. Experience with sci-fi movies and cryogenics. I know what we're going to be. Le we're going to be led by Weasley Stripes. So we get additional health boost on top of what we've already got there, and we do a lot of more damage with pistols. Assault. Now, I did say this was kind of the Yellow Ranger, and it kind of is. She gets a plus 30 attack, and she gets a plus 20 attack, and... I believe the Assault class gives the um, jump, the toss ability as well. I'm sure that's what she does. Anyway, um... This is going to be Lil Debbie. Because we need a little Debbie. Um, little Debbie can be the Purple Ranger. Because why not? And I think actually, Mao Shin Mei is actually not a bad actor for this one. Could go with um, you for additional health and just make you a bit more of an all rounder. But I think actually, just making you ridiculous on the attack front is probably one of the better plans at this stage. So you can go there. This is going to be our. Actually, I really should. I really should. If I was doing this properly in FC's colours, I should probably make everybody lower ranked than me, and just name the name the team for troubleshooters. Okay, you are now the Red Ranger. You are also the Red Ranger, and you shall be. I should probably make you infrared. Disaster, Dylan's. Or Disaster Dylan, at the very least, who shall be the Red Ranger, and he gets an extra point of movement. He specialised in fast moving and stunning opponents, so being able to move very fast is probably going to be helpful. Um, making him much, much, much faster is probably an even better idea, and making him even worse with weapons sounds not at all like Dylan, actually. I need to make him ridiculous in some way. Um, Von Andy, pretty boy, just here to raise your audience. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. So you are our Red Ranger. Next, we need a, our Techie, who shall also be the Red Ranger. And I generally pick one person. It does suggest mechs are in this game. He has negative 30 to his dodge and counter skill, which basically means he's got no chance of doing either. Um, but he does increase our mech's health. Or should I make him a slightly different Techie? I guess skill regen when he uses any skill. So Dude Lee might be an okay one. Plus 10% critical. Loses about 20% of his health though. I don't think we might make UJ Blues because that's a good all round ability. Increases the skill regen on skill regen as well. And this will of course, because he's the techie, be Marajim. And finally we have the Red Ranger. And this will be... Sorry, where are we? Somebody's in a panda suit, I remember that. There we go. We've got Snoopy in the game as well. And he, as you say, he is going to be the Red Ranger. So, um, lose the point of movement, but gains additional attack and team attack bonus. So he's actually not a bad overall um, character to have there as our assist. So here we are, we have... The Red Ranger Snoopy, the Red Ranger Marijan, the Red Ranger Little Debbie, the Red Ranger Disaster Dylan, and the Orange Ranger Shadow Hawk. So, we have our team. We should also probably rename the squad at the moment because I don't think it works quite as the Chroma Squad. I will rename things and sort things out off screen and just do a few things. For the next time, we have um, our shop where we can buy we can buy props, which basically include weapons and items to increase our health and other things because yeah the rest of this place is a tactical RPG we're gonna make it look good we do have to make it look good our actors you will see have various abilities as already stated they also have some skills for example Snoopy our assistant has um, additional skill regen and also the heal token which heals people the Teggy has two shooting abilities uh, find weakness target up to four tiles away takes 30 more damage for three turns Oh, I actually get to choose which skill I get here, do I? Oh, we only get one of these. Ah, I think we'll take the multi-shot though, because that's quite useful, I found. 
And Heal Doken definitely is more useful than the other one. Okay, so I've learned things about this. The leader gets the lasso, the eagle lasso, which basically pulls the enemy four spaces towards us. And it's a free action, so I can use it in addition to other things. Um, strong arm is the little Debbie passive ability, which allows um, people to jump two spaces further. I should really probably have colored somebody in differently here, because I'm no way going to remember that. Yeah, it, making everybody the Red Ranger is really going to hurt me later. Really going to hurt me. But this is how we do it. This is Alpha Complex rules. And finally, Zastilant has the stunning pose. Because, of course, if you cannot kill things, you stun them with a pose. Sounds perfectly like a Dillany, ta Dillany tactic. Definitely works. So now we have studio upgrades. And we can do a lot of things with this. We can actually immediately buy a bigger studio. Which unlocks the medium level upgrades, but doesn't actually do anything for us now. Um, the SD camera gives us additional... Um, audience from various things, but I think we'll probably be okay for day one not doing much in the way of this. Actually, my microphone's cheap. If it's cheap, I'll go and do it. Yeah. So I spent a hundred and, um, I spent a little bit, and now we have 10 additional hit percent hit points, we have an SD camera, and we have a microphone, and we are just about now ready to record our first episode. But I will deal with that next time. So, this is Shackle 2012, new Let's Play! Until next time. Do, 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 do.